Okay, here we are. Rick's working on the snowplow bracket, the bracket for the lift, and uh, he's gonna have to show you what he manufactured. So here's what I came up with for the lift unit and what this is gonna have. It's gonna fit right down in this pouch here. It's gonna have a winch mounted on the front. It's gonna have a control box mounted on the back for the remote controlled winch. And then from the winch, it'll go down and be attached to the plow with an eye bolt. So uh, there's where we are right now. You can see our bracket. And as I say, the winch will be mounted here. The box will be mounted here. So pop up. The next step is <clears throat> to paint it and mount the winch and the box and then get some wiring hooked up. Then we're ready to roll. Let the snow begin. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay. All right, here we are with Pop Pop Gringo. And as I said before, we're not very good at documenting things that we do. And here's a good example of that. So we're out here in the uh, Redneck Manufacturing Shed and uh, Pop Pop Gringo brought a couple of projects along down with them this time. So I'll let you tell him what, uh, what projects we got going on here. Okay. We have a project going of building a lift for my snow blade on my tractor and we build a trailer. It's all in the works right now. It's not finished yet, but it's shaping up another night or two and we'll have her together. So you might as well show them what we're banking. All right. So here's what we got so far. We had a standard lift for a snow plow for a Husqvarna tractor. It was a great big handle that came up the side and you kind of pushed down on the handle. Well, Pop Pop Gringo didn't want to do that anymore. So we welded this piece onto the existing piece and we've put this piece in here, put some brackets. This is the remote control unit and this is the power winch. Uh, this is all we got so far. We did get this area here painted. Uh, we're going to redo this area, maybe put an eye bolt in here and hook this directly to the eye bolt rather than go through that. So uh, there's what we got so far. Took some plate steel, cut it, and uh, just kind of fit it for what we needed. And when we're done, it's going to be a remote controlled snow plow lift system. And it's totally removable. So once you remove this piece, the hood will come up all the way and it clears this by mere millimeters. Uh, so it's going to be a complete deal. You can take it off in the summertime. It won't interfere, but in the wintertime, you'll be able to uh, stick that down in there, hook the blade up, push the remote control, lift the blade. Here we got some tires for Pop Pop Gringo's trailer. And uh, this is a little trailer that we put together. We got a sheet of plywood over there that we stained and uh, we're going to put the plywood on the top. Basically all he wanted was something to put a blue barrel on top. Maybe put leaves in there, trash, whatever he has to uh, take down, get rid of. So he made a little trailer to go behind a tractor. And this is an older project here. We took this plate of steel and drilled a hole, drilled a small hole behind it. So that way uh, you can pull a pin or you can pull a trailer and then made it fit to there. So that's an older project. Now we'll come over here. There's Pop Pop Gringo. And uh, of course you can't have a Husqvarna trailer without Husqvarna decals. So we got some decals here that I uh, cut earlier tonight and they're gonna go on the little trailer over there. And as you can see, the dog is ecstatic. Sit. He doesn't die very good either. All right. Good boy. Here is our unofficial Husqvarna trailer that Dad wanted. Basically, he wanted this just so he could put a trash can on it and haul it with leaves or with trash, whatever he wanted to haul on it. 
and uh, got too much stuff over in the way here, but, uh, and I see my decal, looks crooked on the back. All right, we'll put that barrel on here and then we'll show so it. So basically, this is what uh, Pop Pop Gringo is going to be using this for, along with, uh, I'm sure, other uses, taking kids for rides or whatever. But uh, primarily, he wanted it to put a barrel on there, put leaves, put garbage, take the garbage can out to the curb, whatever he wanted to do with it. And uh, the next thing we'll show you is uh, how Pop Pop Gringo came up with the idea to keep the wheels forward a little bit, and we'll show you why. Pop Pop Gringo came up with another idea for the trailer. It's a dog trailer. And as you can see, the dog is a static. All right, come here. Come here. <laughs> here we go. We pull the pin. Unhook it. And when I have my phone, I can put it in my shed, and it's going to stay in there all that stuff. So it is a self-storing trailer on top of being a handy little gadget for carrying whatever you need. All right, Pop Pop Gringo's going to show us how to hook it back up. Notice the creaks and the crumbles when he bends over, the bones are munching. And he's running out of breath. Here, let me get a close-up of him. You'll see his face is red. There's Pop Pop Gringo. That's what happens when you have a belly and you bend over. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going back to his favorite working spot and we'll follow him back to his work center and there he is he's at work again so this is what it looks like on paper this is what it looks like on metal and this is what it's going to look like on the trailer we're making fenders not very good fenders but fenders that'll work with the material that we have okay now we're going to show you the installation that is complete with remote control Button. and there it goes up There it goes down, and we can operate it from probably 40, 50 feet away. So we're ready for the snow. Let it fly. <laughs> 